how to monitor your services on Kubernetes, even across multiple clusters and multiple regions with Backstage. Hi, my name is Matthew Clark and I'm a software engineer at Spotify. If you're deploying a service on Kubernetes, you might have deployments in clusters all over the world. Backstage makes it simple to keep track of all those deployments, no matter where they are. That's because Backstage was designed with service owners in mind and not cluster admins. In this video, I'll show you how it works. So let's start on the service catalog page in Backstage where I can see all the services I own. I'm going to click on this example service that I started called Dice Roller. It takes me to the services overview page. and From here, I can click tabs to get more info about the service. It's CI, CD status, APIs, technical documentation, and then we have this tab, Kubernetes. When I click the Kubernetes tab, I immediately see error reporting at the top of the page, which we'll come back to. Further down, I can see that Dice Roller is a multi-cluster service. It's deployed on this EU cluster and this US cluster, and I can click into these clusters to see the deployments that make up this service. So I have a Dice Roller deployment in the EU, a Dice Roller deployment in the US, and Dice Roller Canary also in the US. All the different deployments that make up my service have been aggregated together by Backstage, so there's no need to switch kubectl context just to see the overall status of my application. I can also see the deployment's autoscaling information if it has a horizontal pod autoscaler. I can click into this to get more detail, and I can choose to see the YAML that makes up this horizontal pod autoscaler. It's also easy to see if there are any errors on these deployments. For example, here I can see that there are two pods with errors in this cluster, and I can see that those errors are in the Dice Roller Canary deployment. When I click in to see more details about this deployment, I can see the errors that were found. Backstage goes further with its error reporting by attempting to extract errors from Kubernetes objects it retrieves and highlighting the issues it finds. You can see that the Canary deployment is unhealthy, and that's because some of the containers are crashing. So I can view this information here. Or I can go to the top of the page to view the aggregated error reporting, which gathers together the errors from all the different deployments on all the different clusters and highlights the ones that are most important. So you can see here, some of the errors highlighted are that Dice Roller Canary containers are crashing, and our horizontal pod autoscaler in the US currently has the maximum number of replicas configured, so it has no more room to scale. By aggregating the most important information in one place, Backstage makes it easier for developers to monitor the state of their services in Kubernetes. There's no need to switch between multiple Kubernetes dashboards to see the overall state of your service, whether it's deployed across multiple clusters, multiple regions, or even cloud providers. Thanks for watching.